Hey friends, Blake Shook here, and I've been keeping bees for over 20 years now, and I started with two hives in my backyard, and now I manage over 30,000 hives. And my goal in these videos is to take all the hard lessons I've learned along the way and apply them directly to you with two to 20 bee hives in your backyard. So let's jump into this hive. You know, here it is, it's September. Our bees are starting to shut down for the winter. You know, what am I looking for when I'm going through a hive? And how do I tell if my hive needs a pollen patty or not? As a general rule of thumb, I recommend feeding pollen patties to hives six weeks before daytime temperatures are routinely in the 50s and low 60s. So once daytime temperatures are in the you know, mid 50s to low 60s, the bees really start shutting down and they really stop rearing brood at that point for the most part. But uh, I wanna feed pollen substitute six weeks before that so that the baby bees that they're rearing that are gonna survive all winter long have the proper uh, nutritional diet as they're being reared so that they last all winter long. So something I'm always looking for, so you know, I, I view pollen substitute as insurance and I'm gonna feed it to them generally no matter what. But I wanna show you guys some of the things I'm looking for as I'm going through a hive to see, you know, might they not need it this year. And here's a good example of what I often see this time of year in in my hives so this hive has not a lot of pollen but it does have a little bit here i'm going to change the angle of this a little bit so we can see down in those cells a little better Ooh, there we go beautiful so check it out see all this pollen so this is cat brood so you've got the brown here that's all cat brood but this yellow that's all pollen so that's pretty normal to see this time of year uh, it's normal to see them start packing the pollen in around the brood. In the springtime, you see less of that, but this time of year, they are kind of trying to start, shut that, start to shut that queen down a little bit. And while this is a good amount of pollen, one thing that you'll notice is that it's all one color. So the pollen is not multicolored. So the bees really don't have a, vari a wide variety of pollen. And that's concerning to me as a beekeeper because when there's more colors of pollen, it means the bees have more variation in their diet. And it's very common in the fall for them to only be bringing in one or two colors of pollen. So for me, that really triggers me to feed a pollen patty. How do you feed a pollen patty? It's pretty simple. I mean, my favorite brand is the Global Pollen Patties um, in 4% uh, or 15% pollen. And it's really simple. You just take a pollen patty, you smoke the bees out of the way, you lay it right across the top bars. Um, the bees, a, a hive this strong, you know, they've got one deep box completely full of bees and the top deep box about half full of bees. They should eat that in about seven days. And then I'm just gonna put this top box right back up on top. It crushes that patty down between the boxes and then I'll come put another one in in about seven days. And I usually feed about two pollen patties per, um, per month, um, starting six to eight weeks before daytime temperatures are in the 50s. So if you haven't already started feeding pollen patties, I would go ahead and give them you know, one every 10 days or so um, until daytime temperatures are in the mid 50s and the brood really shrinks down and the, the queen essentially stops laying. So it's a great insurance. They're relatively inexpensive and make sure your bees are taken care of nutritionally so that plenty of bees survive to start the hive over again next year. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.